We live in a world that's obsessed with perfection. So it's easy to feel inadequate, especially when you have some strikes against you. It's easy to feel as if you don't measure up when your past won't let you escape. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's going on out there in YouTube land? What's happening, good people? You are now tuned in to another dope video here at No BS Allowed TV. I am your host, that guy, King P, a.k.a. Big Game James, a.k.a. The Ice Nine, a.k.a. Pastor Offering, a.k.a. The Reason Why You Are Here. I would like to thank you for tuning in. And if you don't know, you are now tuned in to the spot that discusses life, truth, and all dope things in between. Shout out to my new subscribers like Stag TV. Shout out to T Smell Good, official brother. Thank you. And also Miss Brandy Hines. Salute. All right, y'all. Well, you know how we do it. Let's get right into it. I'm coming to you all late night. So you get to see me as as you know, as as you would, you know, just lounging around the house or whatever. But um, this is a uh, serious subject, in a sense. This is something for my people that um, may have uh, been to prison. Um, or they may have done some things that they're not so proud of a while ago. And now they feel as if. They just don't matter. They had the desire to try to make a change. and Well, they've changed in their personal lives and they want to do better by other people. But they feel as if they just can't get in because they're going to be judged by who they were back then. That happens a lot. Society is real wild. In the sense that it's a lot of pressure to be perfect, but perfect doesn't exist. Nobody walking this earth's surface is perfect. And a lot of times, really good people with good hearts make bad decisions. They do things that get them in places that they don't want to be. But things happen and and there they are. And for me, I've seen this happen to a lot of people. I've seen this happen to a lot of good, decent people. But the way society is set up, we are taught to look down on those people and say, OK, well, you don't matter. You don't. You know, whatever you're saying or whatever you're trying to do is is trash later for that. You're you know, you're nobody. You're nothing. You know, you went to jail or you did this or you did that or you used to do this or you used to be like that. It's all about shouting down those who are deemed to be imperfect when, in fact, we all are imperfect. The thing is, is that. Most real people, not the people with their heads in the clouds, the people who are, are people who live in this fantasy world, but most real people respect those who come from a place of realness. I don't me personally, I don't care if you've been to jail or, or whatever, or whatever your situation was. If I see that you are coming from a real genuine place, I rock with you. I rock with you, especially when I know what, especially once I learn to know that your heart's in the right place. You're trying to do something better than what you were doing back then. And the only people who want you to stay where you were back then 
are the people who don't want you to see to realize your full potential. I read something once and it said that the only they said that people who want to try to tie you to your past are people who can't reach the level that you are now on. And no truer words have been spoken. It's a lot of individuals out there who just want to just, just, you know, just, just put down others and they want to, you know, they want to, you know, they're judgmental. They're, you know, they walk around as if, you know, their ish don't stink. It's what it is. However, you're not going to change those people, but if you've truly changed in yourself, nobody can deny you. You won't be denied. It may take a little longer to get where it is you're trying to go, but you won't be denied. And this video is to motivate you to keep going, to keep doing what it is you're doing. I know that it seems hard right now. It seems like an exercise of utility, but hey, don't give up. Somebody sees what you're doing and they rock with it. It's like some of you cats, you know, you're out there in the community. You're trying to tell the young, you know, young boys and girls not to mis not to make the mistakes that you've made. I salute you, especially when it's coming from a place of genuine care. It doesn't matter what anybody else says about you. It doesn't matter what they think of you. Keep going. You're making a difference. I don't know who came up with this nonsense that you have to be perfect in order to make an impact. It is some of the most craziest foolishness that 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 exists on this planet today, along with some other stuff. But we are talking about that right now. I just want to encourage you all. And I, and, and I'm not just talking to people who, who have been to prison or who've been, you know, who've been, you know, who've been locked up. I'm talking about people who, you know, who, who have made some mistakes you know, you know, there's people who are, you know, who are ostracized from their, you know, from their families and ostracized from their, you know, from, from, you know, from their, their communities because they chose a path that others didn't agree with, or they made some bad decisions when they were younger or circumstances got the best of them, whatever it, be, whatever it is. But these people are now trying to turn things around. These people want to do better. And if, if a man or woman genuinely wants to do better, who are we to try to deny them? Who are we to look down upon them? Who are we to act as if we are better than them? It takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of, it takes a lot of testicular fortitude, if you will to fall down hard in the face of the public and get back up again, dust yourself off and keep going. A lot of people have quit, but you, you keep going. You find the strength every day to keep going and you ought to be commended for that, not condemned. So, when you see somebody that doesn't you know, that doesn't have it all together but they're trying don't put them down see what you can do to help pick them up see what you see what they need in order to keep going and try to be of assistance and again to all of my people out there who who are trying to change their lives around and trying to do the right thing now and trying to, you know, trying to put good out there in the universe. I salute you. And I appreciate you. All right, y'all. 
Well, that's been my time. I thank you for listening to me. If you feel as if this video has brought you any value, do me a favor. Like, comment, share, and most of all, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this thing. And I cannot do it without you. You are the most important component. All right. Also, I don't know exactly when you all will be seeing this, um, but make sure that you tune in to the uh, the live show um, later on this uh, this Friday, this Friday evening, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to be a dope one. Um, I have a panel of brothers um, who um, who are going to be uh, answering questions um, you know, from from various ladies. Uh, They're going to be uh, chopping it up about um, and basically just telling, you know, telling the unfiltered truth from a man's perspective about things that women want to know. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So make sure that you all tune in. All right. All right. Well. Words of encouragement. Nothing beats failure, but trying. As simple as that sounds, it takes a lot of energy to get back up after you have fallen multiple times. Never quit on yourself. Never allow others to tell you that you should quit. When you feel that you are about to give up, that's when you're the most close. You, that's when you are closest to success. What you want is right within your grasp. Just keep going. On the other side of all your doubts and, and, and inconsistencies and failures is your end goal. It's right there. Keep going. All right. Well, with that said, good people. I will leave you as I always do. Peace.